Hi everyone. So clearly I am not in San Diego right now. I am back at home, but when I started to go back and edit this video, I realized I never actually recorded an intro. So here is me recording the intro a little bit late. I got back on Tuesday night, so a couple nights ago. I'm so excited to dive into this travel vlog and show you guys this trip. For those of you who didn't know, I went to San Diego last weekend to visit my best friend who goes to University of San Diego and I spent four days there and I tried to film as much of it as I could for this travel vlog so that's what you guys are going to get to see today but to start off if you don't know me or haven't watched my videos before my name is Reese and I make food fitness and wellness content also I do have an Instagram I'm over at Reese Madeline fit if you want to just see more of my life and what I do in the gym and outside of it so go check that out but without any farther ado, let's get into the vlog. I guess it's my first day in San Diego. This is my lovely hostess, hey. my bestie. Today we're going out to go for a hike along the beachfront in Torrey, Torrey Pines Park? Torrey Pines State called? Park. Torrey Pines State Park in La Jolla. So we're gonna go do that and then walk around for a little bit, hopefully get some tacos from the in taco Jolla. stand in La Jolla. <laughs> I woke up today feeling a lot better than I have this entire past week because I've been pretty sick which hasn't been super fun. So I'm kind of getting over a cold. So if I sound a little congested, that would be why. But I'm hoping that the California air will just kind of cure me and we'll be feeling we'll be feeling better soon. No, for sure. We're going to go do that hike and then I will try to film a little bit while we're walking around and show you guys what we're doing the rest of the day. We are back. We went on our little hike and then we went to a taco. What is it called? The taco stand? The taco stand. The taco stand. And got tacos, which were so needed. We did have to wait like 30 minutes for the tacos, which was challenging. And we were getting a little hangry. After a six mile. After, after a six mile hike. So then we started getting a little hangry, but once we got the tacos, it was fine. And then afterward we went down to see the seals, which was so, so cute. I think I could have watched- We were there for like at least 40 minutes. <laughs> we were there for at least 40 minutes, just watching seals and like watching them move around the beach and the seal pups, it was so adorable. And then we just walked around downtown La Jolla and Nadia got some brow supplies. Oh, I got- I got, I'll show you guys. What did I get? The woman told me to get this. The kind woman that worked there. Precisely my brow wax. Lovely. Because I was gonna get the tint and then the, the wax, but she was like, girl, this is two in one. I so it's like, perfect. Okay, yeah. We gotta make sure we have good brows here. Yeah. And I got coffee because I needed <laughs> caffeine badly. Oh, those are cute houses. So now we're gonna go back to the car and then probably just head back and hang out at the apartment for a little bit before we go and pick up her roommate from the airport and then make some dinner and maybe have a little wine night or something. Wine night in hot tub, which would be a time. I will see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday. 
We just finished up a workout in Nadia's apartment gym and I was going to try and film it, but it was pretty challenging because it was really crowded in there, probably because it was early Monday morning before classes started for people. But now I'm just gonna get ready, eat breakfast. I didn't do the best job with filming yesterday. We were just kind of out and about the whole day, so it made it kind of challenging. But today she has work and some class stuff that she needs to get done. So I'm probably just gonna sit at a coffee shop I need to finish editing the video that's gonna go up tomorrow so I'm gonna do that and then maybe get some of my NASM studying done I don't totally know but right now I'm just gonna get ready eat breakfast and then she's gonna show me around campus which I'm really excited for because I actually haven't seen the campus yet I kind of wish it was sunny out I feel like it hasn't been the most sunny California weather but it's still pretty warm it's like 60 degrees so I'm like you know what it's warmer than at home, so that is all good with me. Anyways, I'm going to go clean myself up a little bit and get ready for the day and have breakfast. I will try to do a better job of filming some of the stuff we have going on today. Today is my last full day here, which is super sad because I definitely have been loving it and I don't wanna leave and go back to reality back in North Carolina. We're gonna make the most of it. I will see you guys in a little bit. It is Tuesday and it is sadly my last morning here in San Diego. Nadia just left for work a little bit ago, so I am by myself in the apartment. We said our goodbyes, which was so sad. I don't get to see her super often, so I was really happy that I was able to make it out here at least for a couple days. It went by so, so fast. Yesterday, obviously, again, didn't do the best job with filming, but I spent most of the day in a coffee shop finishing up the YouTube video that went up this morning. So it will now have been a week ago that it's been up. If you wanna check it out, it's a full day of eating. And I also do a little update on my bulk. I was just in the coffee shop finishing that up while she was in class doing work and some other things. Then we went down to Pacific Beach that afternoon, walked around, did a little shopping, and then had happy hour and grabbed dinner before coming back and just kind of having a chill night because she had some work to get done and I have not adjusted to the time change here. My jet lag has not gone away. So I have been going to bed at like 9 p.m. and waking up at 6.30 or 7, but that is okay because I'm going back to the East Coast today. So even though I didn't adjust, hopefully it will make the way back not as bad. Anyways, this morning I don't need to leave for the airport for a couple more hours. I have most of my stuff packed up already and then I was just getting some work done this morning while Nadia was getting ready and left and everything. Now I'm gonna go down to the gym and do an upper body workout. Tuesday's normally my push day, so I'm gonna do chest, shoulders, probably a little bit of abs. I'm hoping it's not too, too crowded. Yesterday it was way too crowded to film, I think just because of the time of day it was pretty early in the morning i'm sure students were trying to get their work in before class but i'm hoping today because i'm going a little bit later there will be fewer people in there and i will be able to film it all for you guys so you can see a little bit of this workout before i head off to the airport i think i'm gonna go and just kind of see what i'm feeling like doing that's kind of what i did yesterday i kind of just went with what my body was feeling since i'm still recovering a little bit from a cold and when i'm at home i'm doing my strict program and everything to make sure I'm progressive overloading but since I'm on vacation I kind of just want to have fun in the gym and everything so I'm just gonna go see what I feel like doing maybe throw in some exercises that I don't normally do maybe I'll just stick to the basics I don't know we also are just gonna see what they have I'm gonna go and do that but if this is the last time that I end up talking in this video which I'm hoping it's not maybe I can try to film at the airport a little bit I do have a super tight connection so I'm interested to see how that's gonna go with me that but if this is the last time I end up talking in this video which as we know is very possible with me I want to say thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see when the next one is coming out and if you want to see more of me be sure to check out my Instagram at Reese Madeline Fit where I post a lot
lot of my fitness and food stuff on there. You can go and give that a look. If you did enjoy this video, I know it was something a little bit different, not as fitnessy, not as foodie as usual, but I thought it would just be fun to bring you guys along with me to San Diego and traveling. So if you enjoyed the travel vlog, I do have quite a few other trips coming up this spring. In a couple weeks, I'm going to the Bahamas with my friends for spring break and I'll be going back home to Nashville to visit my parents. So if you want to see more travel from me and did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments or feel free to shoot me a DM over on my Instagram. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. It feels weird doing this at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and now let's get into this workout. So I started out my workout warming up on the treadmill, which I did not film, but I did intervals of five minutes of walking without an incline, then five minutes with an incline, and then five minutes without. Then I moved into doing the dumbbell bench press. So I did a warm up set of 15 with a lighter weight. And as you can see, I kind of adjust my form during my warm up set. So I'm kind of just in a comfortable spot to go heavier. I went for a weight I thought I could do. I got a few reps in and then realized it was just way too heavy. As you can see, I'm really struggling and that was I think rep six and I was going for eight to 10. So I had a humbling moment where I had to drop the weight, but I was getting over being sick. So I think that was part of it. And then I went into four sets of eight to 10 with that lighter weight that I got. Always do form over weight. That is the priority. Next, I moved into the seated dumbbell shoulder press. I did four sets of eight to 10 reps on that. I always make some really cute lifting faces while doing any type of overhead press. The next thing I did was the seated chest press. They had a machine there, which made it super easy. I did four sets of eight to 10 of that. Afterwards, I did 12 to 15 reps of lateral raises. And then I supersetted that with plate front raises. And I did 12 to 15 reps of those. And then I repeated that three times. Then I just ended things off with a little hanging ab circuit. So I did three rounds and 12 to 15 reps for each exercise. I started with just straight leg raises and then I went into knee raises and then I went into alternating oblique knee raises and that was the end of my workout. I kept it to about an hour and I got back to the apartment, made sure everything was all packed up and ready to go and hopped in my lift to get to the airport.